What's up guys and welcome to a fast and easy guide on how to use the Pirate Chain's Light Wallet. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and go to the official Pirate Chain website which is pirate.black. And when you get to the front page, you want to click on the little tab in the middle that says Wallets. Once you're on that page, you just want to scroll down a bit until you get to Pirate Chain Wallet Lite. And go ahead and pick the operating system that you want. I use Windows, so I'm going to go ahead and download the Windows version. Once the file is done, go ahead and open the folder where you downloaded the file. And the next step, what you want to do is right click the folder and hit extract all. Now if you want you can extract the file in the same folder. Once it's done double click on the file and you'll see three options. You'll see license, pirate wallet, dash light, and readme.md. You want to go ahead and double click the pirate wallet. Now if you have Windows Defender on you might also get this blue box. Just go ahead and click more info and then run anyways. Once your wallet or the program opens up you'll have two options. The first one is create a new wallet. And the second one is restore wallet from seed. Now the second option is for people who have deleted or perhaps lost a wallet but still have their seed and they can restore their old wallet with the seed words that they were given when they made or created the wallet initially. I'll show you what I mean here because we're going to go ahead and create a new wallet and then click next. And as you can see right here, we've got our wallet seed phrase. Now these 24 words are extremely important because that is what's going to get you into your wallet if you ever happen to lose it. So what you want to do is maybe write down those 25, uh, 24 words or maybe memorize them or perhaps if you want, you could even copy paste them into a text document. So just right click anywhere onto your desktop and go ahead and open a new text document and then go ahead paste it in there and then save the file. Now I was fortunate enough to be helped by the good captain himself and he did mention after you print your seed phrase you might want to laminate that piece of paper and keep it on the inside of a safe. Also if you plan on storing your seed phrase digitally on a flash drive make sure to encrypt the flash drive first using software like Veracrypt. If you guys need help with that, I'll probably make a small video showing you guys how to encrypt your seed phrase onto a flash drive. All right, let's go ahead and hit finish. And now the wallet is going to start to sync. This process might take a little bit of time, guys, so just be patient. Once it's done syncing up, you'll finally have access to your wallet. You'll notice on the top right of the overview tab, you'll see the amount that you have in your wallet. Obviously, this is a brand new account and there's not going to be any funds in here yet. Let's go ahead and click on the send tab. The first line at the top there will show you your balance. The second line or the second part of the send tab, you'll be able to put the address of the person that you're sending Pirate Chain to, the amount, and then you can also include a memo if you like to. You can also add another recipient uh, in the bottom of that if you wanted to send Pirate Chain to multiple people. Now, if you wanted to send your Pirate Chain back on the exchange, this is how you would do it. You'd go to the deposit tab of the exchange, get the address where the coins would be deposited, then go back into your send tab and then put the address right here in the address of the recipient. Put the amount, uh, how many coins you want to put in there and then uh, put a memo if you want to put a memo like I said. Uh, let's just put test, hit OK and then click send. Once you put the amount in, just hit send and it'll send the amount of coins back onto the exchange. All right, easy enough. Let's go ahead and click on the receive tab. You'll notice that you'll have an address section. Now this is the address to your wallet. This is where you want to receive all of your pirate chain. There's also a QR code there on the bottom right. It's uh, much easier for a cell phone uh, to scan the QR code rather than you having to copy pasta your address into someone's phone or, or sending your address to someone. So just for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to transfer your money from your exchange into your pirate light wallet. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and right click on the wallet address and hit copy. Next, we're going to go to our exchange where we want to withdraw money from. I happen to be using trade ogre. So I'm going to click on the balances tab 
And then when I find the pirate chain, I'm going to click on withdraw. The next page is going to look a little something like this. It's going to have your available balance on there, the amount that you wish to withdraw, and you're going to have to paste the address that we initially copied from our wallet into this section right here. One thing I do want to mention, if you look just to the right of withdraw amount, you'll see that there's a little fee that you have to pay if you're trying to take your money or try to take your pirate chain off of the exchange and into your wallet. All right, so we're ready to hit the withdraw button. When you do that, you're going to get the authenticator. Go ahead and grab your cell phone, put in the six digits, whether it's Authy or Google Authenticator, put in the code and hit submit. Now for the next part, you're gonna have to be patient. I'll let the captain himself explain why. Trade Ogre's gotten so much attention recently because of Pirate Chain that, you know, their withdrawal system is a little bit slower now. I've heard some people have it withdrawn within like five, 10 minutes, and then I've heard as much as three hours sometimes. So just to give you guys a quick update, the first time I tried to withdraw money from my account, it did fail. However, I just tried again in the morning and this time I was able to withdraw the money and it went through in roughly 15 to 20 minutes. So let's go back into the wallet and this time you can see that my coins have arrived and the amount that was traded over from Trade Ogre and what it's worth right here on the top right side and the transaction has gone through and I have my coins out of the exchange and into my wallet. Well, thanks so much for watching, guys. I really hope I was able to help some of the newer people understand a bit more about Pirate Chain and the Light Wallet. I hope that I was able to answer some of your questions. I'm still new at all this, so I'm still learning, guys. If I miss something, please let me know down in the comments below. And uh, who knows, maybe in the future, I might even make another one of these. All right, boys, stay strong. Have a good one.